history with merge blocks is not fantastic. Oh, that's that's really confusing and disorienting. It's <laughs> what the heck? Hey, look, look at that! Look at that! Like, how close to merged can you be without being merged? Into the black. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 33 of The Grind! We're getting closer and closer to the end of season 1. I'm actually kind of bummed I didn't find this mod slash script until now. Because it would be really interesting to see how many times I've died since we started this. But I guess we get to check now from episode 33 on. Should put a little disclaimer on that somewhere. But let's go right to the to-do list. A couple of sort of urgent things. I want to finish building Defense Tower 2 today, repair the hangar, um, and also sort of upgrade those hangar defenses so that we don't have to keep repairing the hangar. Isn't this nice when you add something you've already done? You can just check it off. Life lesson. I'll probably start tunneling to the other side so I can just get both of these defense towers done. I think that will probably end up being just about it, and if we're lucky we can get to a few more things. I imagine this is at least one or two more episodes out from the end of this season. I'm going to head over to Defense Tower 2, finish that up, and then work my way back through the hangar and everything else. So, on to that. I've just had an idea that I'm kind of surprised I didn't have before. So one of the challenges I had in grabbing all of that, all of those solar panels. First of all, let me check that that's the same stuff that's in here. Lots of ammo. Oh, I don't see any solar panels in here. Oh, but we have tons of metal grid, even better. Oh my gosh, that's huge. That is huge. Oh my goodness, that metal grid is... That's what I struggle to print the most! Alright, well it sits in a large cargo container on the inside of this bay, sort of in this silo section. It takes forever to sort of cart it all out of that container, because for whatever reason I can't just hook up to this and then just drag it over into the, not into the collector, but into the Cerberus. W what I think I'm gonna try, if it's not too heavy, is just disconnect the silo, make sure that the large container is connected, and again, if it's not too heavy, just pick it up with the collector and drop it into the grinder, and then I'll get all of those components instantly. And I I won't have to take so many trips. So let's see if that works. Well, it's still working its way through components and such. And I tested this really early in the series where I put a container full of components into the grinding pit just to make sure I'd keep all the components. And I did, and it was a, a full one-to-one -one conversion because originally I was worried that wasn't gonna happen. And as far as I can tell, and this really particularly sucks because of what was in those that container, I think it's gone. I mean, I've got a good amount of nickel, but this is what I had from my last trip. And cobalt, the other main material that I need, also was not filling up at all. I lost all of that. That was like 7,000 metal grids. That is really disappointing. That's just really frustrating and really strange because it hasn't happened like that before. Nothing's sitting out here as far as I can tell. Like nothing was missed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, it's right there, isn't it? 7,000 metal grits. This is why I had the collectors there. Oh my gosh, but then I decided to not use the collectors anymore because the grinding pits were getting all the other stuff. Oh, there's those components, and there's the power cells. 
<laughs> well, I guess the good news is they're at least sitting here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and load all of these into the container. Okay, I'm bummed they didn't fall into the pit, but I'm very excited that I get to I get to keep all those metal grids. Whew! Well, it took a long time, but it worked. Thousands of metal grid and everything in the queue was printed. I ground some down because I had some stuff left in the queue or disassembled some, I guess is the right way to put it. I'm disassembling some of these power cells because I don't need 6,000 of them. I'll probably continue to disassemble them as I go. Unfortunately, they don't have any cobalt, but they do have nickel. And so those 6,000 power cells might be just about all the nickel that I need for a while. Plus I now have thousands of metal grids. So that was huge. Next time that happens, instead of trusting the grinding pit to grab those components, I think what I'll do since it's in a container is just use a merge block and merge the container uh, to my grid here, pipe it up and then just sort everything out and then I won't have to go through that process anymore. So I think that's what I'll try. Good news is just got a ton of resources that I tend to not have enough of. So now I think I can actually finally get over to the defense tower and get that done.
All right, just as an update of where we are, and just something I'd love to, I don't know, maybe it's a small thing that I'd love to get your thoughts on. At least the structure, scaffolding, repairs on the hangar are done. I've started to add some Gatlin turrets, but ran out of resources as, as happens to me so often. So I've got all these big old potholes in the wall. As you can see, this is a total mess and I'm about to fix it because my OCD is driving me crazy. And one of those potholes even reached far enough to expose one of the pipes on the inside and I can't have that. So I think because of how I'm doing this, I can just go ahead and use the terrain tool to fill in these potholes as they form. I can't match the exact the exact surface of this mountainside and make it look right. So I've been trying a few different ones. Obviously some are totally off and taking them out. So what I've decided to do is just start filling in these spaces with concrete because that feels like the kind of thing that I would well, actually do. So here's the concrete layering in. This seems okay, right? So I'm gonna remove these other, these other layers or these other textures I found. There's all these different cool textures and none that actually match the planet that I'm on. This is the kind of stuff I obsess about. It's silly, but I obsess about it anyway. So I'm, I, I have some filling in of potholes to do, which I will continue to do. I've got to repair the defense tower. The last attack actually went semi well. Three of those ships came in. I need to collect them and drop them off to get their resources. That still won't be quite enough resources. Cobalt became the, the resource I needed more of. But as you can see, things are coming together. So I think what I'm gonna try to do here in my last, my last little bit of time that I have is fill in some potholes, put in all these Gatlin turrets, and maybe get to making these into custom turrets. The other auto cannons that are up here may not have enough time for that because I do need to go and collect some more resources over here. And I wanna try that new method of grabbing one of these containers and piping it up to the base and pulling out all the resources that way. Let's see, changing plans, kind of. I'm just gonna quickly add this to the to-do list. I wanted to do this before, and based on how tricky it is sometimes to use the collector to cart things from point A to point B, because often it's so heavy, I'm going to construct collector add-on. Just something that maybe has a large container and maybe four large thrusters just because the one thruster that I have the one large thruster on the on the collector seems to do a good job for most things but like right now for example I found that a container that is full of gravity components which have a ton of cobalt which I need but car I just it's too heavy so I can't cart even that large container over so I've been trying to Take it over in batches until it's light enough to just con connect the collector to it, but that's proving to be long and tedious. So I want to create something that I can merge the collector to when something is bigger and heavier or just a bunch of components that I want to throw into a container. So I'm going to go ahead and build one of those. I'm, I'm sure I won't be able to finish it today. I've run out of nickel again, which <laughs> is like the theme of this, the end of this first season.
apparently I was able to get enough nickel for whatever this is going to be called. I love some suggestions uh, to be done. So just so you can look at it, I've never built anything quite like this and I'm wondering whether or not I should put its own cockpit on it. It's just two large containers in the middle, four large thrusters, some help going forward and backward, none left and right. I don't know if I'm gonna need it. I put connectors on the top, bottom, and back, and then a landing gear. So I guess I'm just gonna see. I added a merge block to the back of one of my collectors. It's not quite all the way charged up, but I'm getting impatient and running out of time. So added this merge block to the back. So let's see if we can connect and take this thing out for a trial run. I need to fix the docking situation here, or at least put like a rear view camera. I guess that's probably the easiest way, isn't it? Especially now that I have a merge block. I guess I can hit V, but sometimes because it's closed, especially when the hangar stays closed, it doesn't work. So anyway, I need to rethink that docking situation for the collectors. I've had a couple situations where the top collector, I do something funky or wrong and it falls on the bottom one. So that's not great design either, so I need to think about that. All right, why aren't the doors opening? <laughs> having some issues. Yeah, I'm having sensor issues. For now, let's just open the door, huh? I just realized I might be too close. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, here's where I really could just use a rear view camera, but hopefully between my spectator camera for now and just being on V, can do it that way. Oh, this is tricky. Yeah, this isn't gonna... Oh! Ah! Alright, here we go. Yeah, rear view camera is gonna be the only way to go. Maybe I really am gonna just need a cockpit. Alright, let's see. We're gonna put you right here. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah, hopefully. Oh, my batteries aren't great on this either. Okay, well. Oh, and not I just realized I don't have left or right thrust. <laughs> Where do I put it? I was gonna put it here. It's everything is just so neat and tidy right now. I don't wanna mess with this. Can I put you right there? Imagine that. Not enough nickel, I don't think, anyway. Okay, need to go get go on one more nickel trip, looks like, and then hopefully we'll have what we need. All right, now we try for real. Don't bump into stuff, please. Oh, now you close? What the heck? Ugh, these hangers are a mess, friends. <laughs> what a thing this is. Okay. All right, and now we'll go grab the, a collector. Oh, I haven't put a camera on the back yet. Should be okay, or is it gonna be okay? No, probably won't be okay, actually, let's see. Where do I put a camera? Oh wait, you can put it in the middle of a merge block? Man, that's neat. It does it, does it, does it break it when you use it? Like, is this a thing that, I'm, I'm sure this is a thing that all the rest of you knew about, and I just didn't. All right. Man, I didn't know you could do this. Oh, that's that's really confusing and disorienting. That is very confusing. Okay, I'm trying to use the controls backwards. All right, here we go, the moment of truth. Okay, be nice and steady. Eventually, we can probably just use a script for this. Opposite controls. Okay. Uh, okay. Did I merge? Did it merge? Or is it merged? Wow, it's... And if it's not, it's as close as it can be without being merged. Um... Um... Please tell me it's not something like if you use the camera, it doesn't merge or something. It's the camera, isn't it? I put the camera in there and it won't merge. Right? Alright, I'll take the camera out. Put 
which will make this whole merging thing harder. That's like, that's not fair. Like, if you're gonna let me put the camera there, you should let me dock with it in there or something. Or have like, is there a mod? Is there a mod that does this thing for me? Just gonna... Oh, I should be lined up, right? Oh, something happened. Something happened. Something happened. That's weird. It's like, like merged, but it's... What the heck is going on? It's like magnetized. It's... <laughs> what the heck? Okay, they're both yellow. Power is on. My history with merge blocks is not fantastic. Merge! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This was supposed to be so much easier. What the heck? It's going crazy. It's out of control. Look, it like wants to be merged. It's like moving together, but it's not... But it's not merged. Okay, now I'm just wondering... Is it because of this rounded block front thing? And it's making it so there's not enough... No, it can't be. Look! Look at that! Look at that! Like, how close to merged can you be without being merged? Alright, I'm... What if I... Okay, what if I take... These off? Is it this? Is it... Is it my... My clever design? Okay, what about now? What about now? Oh! It clicked! It clicked! It did it! It did it! This is gonna be the last thing that I do, is do a trial run with this mod thing that needs a name thing. Okay, here we go. So, I'm gonna take this over. This is actually probably overkill for this one, which might make it a good test. I have successfully transported a container almost full of solar panels, didn't I, once? And that worked pretty well. <laughs> kinda like this. This is like the weird, quirky kind of vehicle. Swift! It's like a train! It's like a, a flying train! It's like Voltron or something. Yeah, I kinda like this. This is cool. If it works, it's cool. Definitely not as mobile and maneuverable as it was when it was just the collector. Oh, if this works, this could be big. If these storage modules continue to pan out, and just for bigger ships and stuff that, have I, that I've neutralized, I've always had to grind them down into such small pieces. I wonder if this will let me, well, not have to grind them down in such small pieces. And the other good thing is, since I've made these collectors remote control enabled that can remote this thing in if I come in on the Cerberus. I'll test that capability later after I've tested this one. I'm also gonna need to find a good place to park this thing. Definitely some hangar updates and upgrades coming. Right, I just want to get right over the top. Okay. Alright, here's where I do my thing. Alright, here we go. Last thing holding it on. It's gonna fall, but I did this right. It is loose, it is free. And now, there's a lot in those tanks and stuff. There's a lot of ice, there's a lot of other stuff. I'm gonna just try to carry this whole thing first and see what happens. Okay, we're locked in. Here goes. Yes! Yes! Oh man! This thing is still loaded! This is total weight, 1.7 million kilos. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be winning any races here, but it's working. And all that ice and everything else, that's huge. Oh, guys! Look at that! <laughs> We're better space pirates than the space pirates. Arr. Yeah, so when I get it back, the goal is going to be to do another merge block 
thing and then just pipe this in and then like put a sorting block on it and just sort everything out of it and then just drop it into the grinding pit, the Sarlacc pit. Oh, this is... Never have I been so excited to be moving so slow. <laughs> Oh crap. No, I forgot that there was that ship that had crashed right here. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, 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 okay. Hopefully it didn't. Okay, as long as that large container is still in there. For some reason, this is a little battery intensive. Am I going down? Why am I going down? Why am I going down? Uh, what's going on? Stop going down! No! What's happening? What's happening? No! What happened? Like, even my audio is just clipping out! What the heck? The The other thing that's fun about all this is I didn't blueprint that thing. I think I'm gonna go to a backup save here really quick and get the blueprint. Where? How? Why did it go down? Like even the audio can't handle the disaster that is this. Get me out of here! I can't even get out! It's like some kind of weird space-time continuum black... Like is this the Bermuda Triangle? I, I'm stuck. It's gone. It's like, it's like what was happening over near my base. It's like, it fell into the earth. All right, well, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna at least get a blueprint to that thing. Like, what is happening? Man, this game. Highest of highs, literally lowest of lows. No, it's just, like, what is even happening right now? It's like gravity broke. All right, well, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Thanks.